Yeah, this is the PF Chang's problem. It says for twenty dollars per person, PF Chang's offers a fixed price menu option that allows you to choose a cup of soup, a starter, an entree, and a dessert. There are two soups, six starters, fourteen entrees, and eight desserts to choose from to form your meal. How many possible unique meals can you create using these options? Okay, so first thing we want to look at is the key phrases. You know, notice here that they ask us how many possible unique meals. So it's a how many question. This is a counting question then. They want to know how many possible combinations there are or how many combinations is the wrong word here maybe because we have a technique called combinations and this is not that. But um, instead they're talking about how many different possible unique options you can create. So whenever it says how many you're thinking of a combinatorics problem, sort of a counting problem. So you want to try to figure this out. Um, you can certainly do you know a tree diagram. A tree diagram allows you to Kind of start off at one point like your decision for your soup and list you know there are two different soups so you'd have like soup a and b and then you'd branch off from there into the different possible uh, scenarios um, the only problem with that is that can be kind of cumbersome so we want to use instead here the fundamental counting rule and the fundamental counting rule is the most basic counting technique we have and basically the rule says you have to think about how many decisions you have to make during the, pro the process of the problem so in this case when you're trying to form your meal you have to what if you choose a soup a starter, an entree, and a dessert. So that's one decision, two decisions, three decisions, four decisions. There are four decisions to be made. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw four spaces. And between those spaces, I'm going to put multiplication. Because the fundamental counting rule says that um, essentially you have to multiply the number of options to complete the first decision, the number of options you have for the second decision, the number of options you have for the third decision times the number of options you have for the fourth decision. You multiply them all together and that gives you your solution, right? So what we have to do is ask yourself, you know, for the soup, right? How many choices are there for the soup? Well, it says there are two soups to choose from, so we'll put a two in that location, representing two different options for the soup. Okay. The next thing we want to look at is how many starters are there, right? Starters. It says we're six starters, right? So for the starters, or the appetizers, we have six different options. All right, and then after that we have the choice for the entree. Well, for the entree, how many different options do we have? Well, it says here in the problem there are 14 entrees, so we'll use 14 that number and then the very last thing is how many desserts well for the desserts it says that we can choose among eight desserts so we're going to put eight in that for that spot and then multiply them all together to get your final solution right okay so it'll be two times six is twelve twelve times fourteen times eight so twelve times fourteen times eight when you're done, you get 1,344 unique meals, 1,344 unique dinners that you could create using this fixed price menu at P.F. Chang's.